And now, after hearing from the former mayor and others, Rachel. Yeah, community leaders and Flint res residents just got finished gathering today to talk about that $600 million settlement that people in Flint are getting because of the Flint water crisis. Former Flint Mayor Karen Weaver and Councilman Eric Mays were a part of the group. Now, the general consensus is that leaders are happy to see the settlement, but say they want more. Mays says because of the lawyer fees and the amount of people that will opt into this lawsuit, $600 million just isn't enough. Flint resident Cynthia Hayes says from the pain and suffering caused by the water crisis, she's demanding more. It's not enough. It's not just about my son. It's about everybody, all the residents, all the children, whether they had paperwork or not. Mm -hmm. The families, whether it was the grandparents, the adults, uncles or uncles, everybody is included to in something for this. It should not be no red tape or no stipulations. All right. And I think it is very disrespectful for them to even want to throw out 600 without even consulting the water warriors, our mayor, my councilman, it's very disrespectful. Mm -hmm. So no, it's not enough, but it's a start and we appreciate it, but it's not enough. On top of the money, the so-called Flint water warriors that were here today that gathered say they also want criminal charges to be brought in this case. But when it comes to the settlement, there's still 45 days to mediate that. And they said they will be working on it. Reporting in Flint, Rachel McCrary, WNEM TV5.